points with the lips. Just that. Get that for me. Okay. <laughs> what are you pointing at? That right there. Mom, Imagine I you're can't find the salt. Things. Instead of using words, she does this. Mm. If you've ever been to the Philippines or met a Filipino, you've seen a peculiar habit of lip pointing. Don't worry if you see someone pointing their lips at someone or something on the streets of the Philippines. This person doesn't ask for kisses on the lips but gives instructions. Filipinos generally use their lips to point to objects or other people. Lip pointing have been observed in people from Panama, Laos, and other groups in Australia, Africa, and South America. This gesture is also found in other cultures such as the Yapuno people of Papua New Guinea. The lips are used to indicate the direction where finger pointing is considered tabo. Pointing to the mouth, also known as muso, lip nose pointing the lips is used to indicate physical direction or to cue someone to look at something. It's a commonly used move to do. Many Filipino children are taught from an early age that pointing the index finger is rude and can be considered rude. Filipinos have wild different theories as to how this originated. Some speculate that the pout is due to the pronunciation of doon, the Tagalog word for there. Others argue that mouth movements were born out of necessity when farmers literally had both their hands full. Others believe that Muso's roots lie in pre-colonial Filipino religions that emphasize respect for nature as it was considered rude to point finger at nature. However unusual, funny and ridiculous to others as it may sound, there are still norms as to when this lip pointing is used. It is not suitable for conversations with elders or people in positions of authority. Fingers are usually pointed at objects rather than people as a sign of respect. With varying the orals, we at Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions have our own and this may very well be one of the best reasons why the Filipinos developed lip pointing and it goes fairly recently during the Japanese occupation of the Philippines. The Makabayang Katipuna ng mga Pilipino Patriotic Association of Filipinos, better known as the Makapili, was a militant group formed in the Philippines in December 8, 1944 during World War II to give military aid to the Imperial Japanese Army. The group was meant to be on equal basis with the Japanese Army and its leaders were appointed with ranks that were equal to their Japanese counterparts. These Makapilos were considered traitors during that period in Philippine history as they chose to collaborate and help the Japanese colonizers instead of joining the fight for the liberation of the country. As informants to the Japanese military invaders, one of the most significant tasks of these Makapilas are to literally point the Filipino guerrillas who were working with the Americans and the Allied forces in the liberation movement. Since this is not a task one can be proud of, these Makapilas wear the native Filipino baskets over their head to cover their head in shame or fear of repercussion from those who were in the liberation movement. Together with the Japanese military, these Makapilas go from house to house, point their fingers directly to the person or persons involved in the guerrilla or liberation movement. Subsequently after the Japanese occupation, Filipinos refrained from direct finger pointing so as not to be associated with the actions and gestures of the Makapili, as the gesture alone caused widespread horror and mourning with arrest, torture, and deaths of countless Filipinos. We believe that as a result, the post-World War II Filipinos found it faster, easier and more convenient to point using their mouth, rather than with their arms and fingers to dissociate themselves from the traitors they hated. After the Japanese left, the mannerism of lip pointing has been shared to the next three to four generations of Filipinos who have adapted to that until today. Of course, we could be wrong, as a video clip from the 1930s recently became viral or way before the Japanese occupation that showed a Filipina on film using her lips to point out something to her female companion. We still believe that definitely the actions of the Makapilas further reinforced the mannerism of the Filipinos to use lip pointing than finger pointing. What do you think? What can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. We have reached the end of the video, in behalf of my partners in Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions, Philip you're saying, thanks for watching, till next time. Stay safe. Philip out. Bye. Well, what can you say? 
Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. We have reached the end of today's video. In behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.